In a few hours, it will be Christmas. And it took us four weeks to prepare for the event tonight, to prepare for the festivity tomorrow. We are still in the season of Advent, and Advent is still preparation. It is being ready. But the question to ask today, a few hours before Christmas is, are we really ready? Are our preparations really in the right place? Are our preparations really preparation for the Lord who is to come? Or are we preparing for something else? There are some mistakes that we can commit in this month of December. There are some things that may be wrong as we do our preparations for Christmas. The first mistake that we can commit in preparation for Christmas is to believe that during Christmas, we are doing something for God. We are doing something for God. In other words, because it is the birthday of Christmas, we owe God to celebrate His birth. Because it is a, it is, Christmas is the birthday of Christ, we owe it to God to celebrate His birthday. And therefore, when it is your birthday and somebody sings to you, Happy Birthday, your mama will, papa, and papa will say, What will you say? So you say, Thank you. But no. At Christmas, we do not do something for God. At Christmas, God something, God does something for us. And that is a lot of difference. In other words, even if we do not celebrate Christmas tomorrow, God would still be God. But if we will not celebrate Christmas and forget what God has done on Christmas Day, you will be less a human person. You will be less a Christian. You will be less a Catholic because you will not remember the goodness of the Lord for you. So the first mistake, my dear brothers and sisters, is to believe that at Christmas, we are doing something for God. David said, I will build a temple for you. And the Lord said, no, you will not build a temple for me. I will build a kingdom for you. And that is what God does at Christmas. God does not owe us anything. Walang tinatanaw na utang na loob ang Diyos sa atin kasi nagpasko tayo. Because whether we celebrate Christmas or not, God would still be God. But if we won't, we would be less than that. So Christmas is not about doing something for God. Number two, in our preparation for Christmas, we tend to believe that God acts the same way we humans do. In other words, we want God to act like a man. That is not the way to prepare. Because Christmas is about men receiving God so that men and women can love like God. When God forgives and we cannot forgive, we cannot believe that God is so merciful. God forgives you when you go to confession and the, serious, the sin is so serious and then the priest says to you, you are forgiven and then you still doubt and you ask, did Father understand me? Why was it so easy? Did the priest understand my sin? Why did he forgive me so quickly? And then pride enters and you think you are higher than God and you are a tribunal, you are a court higher than the court of God. No. Christmas is not about God doing what men and women want him to do. Christmas is about men and women doing what God wants us to do. The first mistake, you want to do something for God. 
No. God wants to do something for you. The second mistake is to consider, is to consider that everything, everything that you have is to be given to God and that God says to you, No, I have given myself to you. Do not expect me to think like you because our humanity has many impossibilities. Our humanity has limited possibilities. But with God, as the gospel says, everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with God. Third mistake. The third mistake is to say, Lord, I am opening my heart to you. Come and enter. There was no place for you in the inn. I have a place for you in my heart. In fact, we have a Filipino tradition, Panunuluyan. Mary and Joseph are rejected by the housekeepers, by the innkeepers, and they have no place to go but the place for the animals. Is there something wrong with it? Yes, there's something wrong with it. Because the message of Christmas is not about God knocking wanting to enter. The message of Christmas is about God opening the door of heaven and saying to you, come in. Christmas is not about we welcoming the Lord. Christmas is about the Lord opening the door of His home and saying to all of us, it is now open, it is now ready, and I am willing to welcome you. Because unless we understand that God is a welcoming God, we will not be able to welcome one another into our souls. Three mistakes to consider a few hours before Christmas. Nothing is impossible with God. Do not expect God to be limited by your possibilities. To remember always that Christmas is not about doing something for Him, but God doing something for us. To remember always that Christmas is not about God entering our homes. It is about all of us entering the home of the Father.